Uh, I tell you what, Ramacio was getting on the plane, going back to California. He says, Mom, do you need anything? I said, oh, no. Tandy said, yes, yes. She needs $50,000 to launch this new book. I said, oh, Tandy. And he said, she, he asked. You're always saying you have not because you ask not. He asked. So I came home and I told George. I said, Ramasi, I was going to write me a check for $50,000. He said, oh, honey. And I tell you what, when that check came in the mail, that George said, I, how'd you do that? I said, let me tell you, let me tell you. Y'all want to know how it works. Let me tell you, make it so, so easy. There is a scripture in Proverbs 19 and 10, and you'll find the more accurate rendering in the New English Contemporary Bible. And it says, it is a shameful thing for a servant to rule in the house of a king. And I begin to realize that my body is a servant, and my soul is like a queen, and my spirit's a king. And that my, my queen has been under the influence of a servant all of my life until, until my king till I got born again. And the scripture says, both he that sanctifies and he that is sanctified has become one. So my spirit and the spirit of God became one. So a third of me lives in sinless perfection. But because of the mystery of free will, soul, intellect, reason, and emotion is caught between what the servant says. That's it's always led by five senses. What does it look like, smell like, taste like, feel like, hear, sound like? These are the gates that the Bible says, open all your gates so that the king of glory, 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 glory can come in and go out. You've got to open your gate to see no man except in Christ. You've got to open your nose to understand a flat-nosed priest. Now, we're talking about Jews. None of them are flat-nosed. We're talking about the sense of smell. And if you're going to be a priest in the house of God, you have to have discernment. You have to have discernment. Are you, are you discerning what's going on here this morning? Are you discerning what kind of business deal? Are you, do you know if Bill Gates was up here talking to you 30 years ago and said, anybody want to invest with me? You wish you had? I'm telling you what's working for me, and I just came to give it to you. I just came to give it to you. You don't have to be po no mo. <laughs> Come here. Such as I have, I give it to you. Now, 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 now. It's over. It's over. The Lord says, This is the last time I'm going to unscrew those eyeballs in the back of your head. Quit looking back. It's over. It's over. You are a new creation. You are a heavenly species. You have been created to administrate the estate of God from a revelation of it is finished. Oh, In Jesus' name. Say, I take that. I take it. I take it. I take it. So many stories. Oh my goodness. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed go begging for bread. The Lord spoke to me. I'm living in a 16 room house with airplanes and boats and everything. My husband's desire was to make millions of dollars and mine was to spend his money, which I did well. And then the Lord says, lovest thou me? Look at me, sir. Lovest thou me? And I said, Lord, I, you know I love you. He said, then sell what you have and give to the poor. Come and follow me. And I said, George, the Lord wants me to give away everything that we have, all the land, all the property. And George says, honey, don't talk to God when I'm not there. <laughs> Men are practical. You are a practical man. And you've been going around and around in a cycle that must be broken today. Take a deep breath. Say, there's more to me than what you see. I'm a head, not a tail. I'm above and not beneath. 
I am blessed. I am empowered. I am rich and not poor. I am created as a son of God. I am seated in heavenly places. Take a deep breath. Whew. Ho! Now, did you say that? Did you believe that? Unworthiness, self-hate, low self-esteem, all of those things that have been fed into my soul, into my intellect and reason that my servant, which is not allowed to rule in the house of a king, my, my king, my spirit, has given my queen, little spoil thing, my intellect, my reason, and my emotion, the ability to make a free will choice. And so the slave, I'm gonna tell you something about immortality. The slave, the body. Thank God, the Holy Ghost is gonna present you blameless, holy, W-H-O-L-Y, before God, body, soul, and spirit. So your body's going through a transition. It's having to learn new ways. It, 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 Paul starts out and he says, I am a doulos, I am a slave, I'm a love slave. Oh, I just love being a slave. And then he grows and he says, I've become a friend of God. I've become a friend. And God reveals secrets to his friend. He was excited. Then he gets over to Philippians. He says, oh, my God, oh, my God, forgetting all those things that I previously knew, forgetting all those things that I previously, forgetting everything up to this point. He says, I press on toward the prize of the high calling, that now I would be a part of the ransom redeemed family of God that administrates the estate of God that is seated in heavenly places and that my intellect reason and emotion has reached over my king and my queen are now in agreement and my body all it can do is live in immortality that's third dimension truth some of you can chew it and the rest say what she's mean by that well, it's not a secret God is looking for God God's out looking for God. What makes God happy is God. I said, Lord, what makes you happy? And he said, I do. So I'm going to turn everybody into me. I'm just a family man. He says, when you plant apples, you don't get potatoes. Every seed reproduces its own kind. You're just, I'm just a poor banished child of Eve just getting by. No, you're not. You were. But you got born again. You got plugged in. You are moving into a dimension of the intention of God that the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord even as the waters cover the sea. That you have been created to be in charge. You can afford to be humble when you own it all. You can afford to be magnanimous when you know every time you give something away it comes back to you full measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. You can begin to say, oh my God, I can afford to be filled with mercy. I can be, I can be affording. I've got the price to pay. I am magnanimous from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And the Word of God says, when I believe Word of God, I am complete. I'm not trying to get what I've already got. I told my past, it's over, I forgot. And in light of what will last, I don't have a past. I don't have any eyeballs in the back of my head saying I've been hurt and wounded and nobody knows the troubles I see. Shut up. <laughs> Is that the most practical thing that we can take? Mr. Drummer Man, every time, every time you hit these drums, hit them for me. Now try a couple. Try a few more. Go, 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 go. Woo! Every note you play, I claim a thousand dollars. For every note you play, I sluice into the realm of the ever-present now. A soul for every note you've sung, a note for every note you've played. I claim for every beat that you made, a thousand dollars coming to you. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I call you rich. I call you rich. I call you rich. I call you rich. Take that, devil. Take that. God's people are in charge. You are in charge. You better get up here and plant your money. Come on, come on. 
For God has spoken through his prophets that the wealth of the wicked would be released to the righteous. Everything changes today. Everything changes today. He says, I take away the old to establish the new. And the Lord says, listen, chickadee, I've got something good for you. No more looking back to yesterday relationships that have hurt and wounded and pulled you down. The Lord says, get up, get up and put a new dress upon you. Dress yourself in righteousness. Dress yourself in goodness and kindness and mercy. And the Lord says, get ready, get ready, get ready. In Jesus' name, oh, church. Church! Church! I see great winds blowing. I see a rain cloud coming. We sit up the vapor so he sends down the rain. You got to understand again and again. Lord, send a flood on this dry, dry earth. And he says, child of God, with the new birth, there's a river of life flowing full and free. You've got to understand when you agree, a river of love and power, it's true. And nothing is impossible for you to do. Rivers of love, rivers of life. Send up the vapor, my darling wife. Send up the vapor, it will rain. Listen to the word of God again and again. Stir up the waters of God. Stir up the waters of God. Flood the earth with the revelation truth. Open up your mouth and turn me loose. Turn me loose, turn me loose. You've got the power when you say, Oh my God, no more delay. Send up the vapor now. Send up the vapor now. Send up the vapor, do it right away. You'll be justified by what you say. Who would agree with God? agree with God. Turn, turn, turn away. Say, my God, no more delay. I'm not waiting for God to fall. He is arising and I will call. Call at the name of Christ. Call at the name of Christ. Let the anointing let it out. Where you focus, it is true. That is exactly what you'll do. Where your focus goes. The anointing of God, the river flows. Set your affection on God. 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 Now I want to tell you something. In the midst of a, you got to take what you get here, and you got to give it away. But it because of a ladybug. Well. You're so cute. You are one smart woman. Where are the entrepreneurs? Where are the women that make money? I, I don't, I mean, not by faith yet. I'm looking for ones that make money. I'm looking for, I'm looking for money makers. I'm looking for millionaires. That's what, uh, uh, come on up here. Not tentative. I want the tentative ones back up and I want the manifestation of millionaires. Okay. Who can believe for billions? Yesterday's millionaires must become today's billionaires. You must make investments. The ability to use knowledge skillfully is yours. What used to work is not what I'm doing. He said, get ready, darling, get ready for you and your money fixing to go to town. Now, hi. Oh, you're just so wonderful. Where, raise your hand, you're a millionaire. Raise your hands, okay. Now you've been created for such a time as this, and that is to be supportive of the kingdom of God, that you must begin to say, where you sow your seed, there is increase. Every seed reproduces its own kind. I came, my mama, oh y'all listen to me. Got five minutes, got five minutes. You got that, okay.
My mama, my mama, when she was five years old, her mother died, and, and there was five little children. It was during the time of the Depression, and two weeks after her mother died, uh, they left a loaded gun in the house and shot her leg off, and there was nobody to take care of five little children, and they put them in an orphanage, and my mother was separated from all of her siblings, and she had never heard of God, but the last thing, you got it, had you? You got it. You're never going to be the same, are you? Never. Ha! Shoot! You got it! Take it! Take it! Okay. Okay. So, she's five years old, no mama, no daddy, don't know where her siblings are, and she was known, her name was Audie. She was very audible, very beautiful, and she was in the orphanage. It was during the Depression, and it was not called Children's Home then, it was called Orphanage. And they were the poorest of the poor. Nobody ever told her about Jesus. She didn't know anything about anything. And she came in and they referred to her as the little crip girl in the back. And they would say, this man came in, it was Christmas time. Mother was five in October and it was December. And that was where she was. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in every situation. You know, sometimes the sadder your story, God says, now watch me roll up my sleeves. My mama told me, she says, honey, when, when my mama was dying, she said, I didn't know what she was saying, but she said, oh my God, my babies, Lord, my babies, my babies, Lord. The promises to me and my household and to as many as the Lord thy God would call. See, my grandma set me in. My grandma set me in while she was dying and she'd never seen me and I was living up in the heart of God. And the Lord said, you hear that? Your grandma just called you to preach unlikely candidate and so mama would tell me her stories and and she said there was a guy named daddy flowers and daddy flowers came and he said little girl in the back little cripple girl in the back come up here and it was a christmas tree she'd never seen anything so beautiful and he gave her an apple and he gave her an orange and he gave her a nickel and she thought and he says has anybody ever told you about jesus well if he was better than an apple and orange and a nickel he must be marvelous and she says, no, sir. And he says, well, Jesus loves you. And he's the, son, he's, he's the son of God. Would you like for him to come into your heart? And she says, honey, she says, mama got saved. She says, thank God that I lost my leg, that I lost my mother, that I lost my family, that I found the Savior. And she's, oh, my mama, let me tell y'all, my mama was more Baptist than Schofield. My, my, mama, my mama used to say, I'm Baptist born and Baptist bred. When I die, I'll be Baptist dead. So daddy and I were Baptist. And my mama said to me one day, my mama didn't believe that a woman could do anything except cook, clean, and have babies. And she came in one day, she says, honey, she said, I was sitting out, and God gave me an open vision, and I saw you preaching. I said, honey, you've been sitting in the sun too long. It ain't happening. Do you hear me? It ain't never happening. I'm going to Broadway. And she said, no, you're going the narrow way. It's God. <laughs> my mama marked me. Now I'm marking you today. I'm marking you today. You are rich and not poor. You are blessed. You are empowered. And you're going to turn.